In this video, you're going to learn the seven cutting edge AI video editing tools that you should be using as a video editor that have transformed my productivity. From spending hours and hours staring at a screen, running into loads of issues, to quickly and efficiently getting the video finished to an excellent standard. I've ranked these AI tools from useful to outright insane, and they'll make you more efficient and capable, save you hours of time, and ultimately make you more money from your editing. In the first few days of me learning video editing, one of the effects I thought was really cool was putting text behind an object. As simple as it sounds, at the time I thought it was genius because it showed that I was a real video editor and not using some basic editing software. I ended up spending hours and hours trying to figure out how to keyframe on Premiere Pro, testing out the auto keyframe feature, realizing it wasn't very good, and then being told online that I had to learn a whole new software, After Effects, to keyframe accurately. That was until I found Veed's AI video background removal tool, where with just a click of a button, you can remove a background, save saving you ages messing about with keyframes. Now this next tool blew my mind when I first saw it. I thought it was just a concept or an idea, but it's actually a real software you can download. And it saved me hours with my video editing and graphic design. I was making thumbnails recently for two completely different videos, and I needed a desert landscape and a frozen lake landscape for the backgrounds of these thumbnails. I couldn't find anything on Google at the right camera angle, and AI image generation just wasn't getting the right results. I had an exact image in my head of what I wanted this background to look like, but I just couldn't find the right landscape image. This is where NVIDIA Canvas comes in. You can use their AI drawing tool to create really advanced landscapes completely from scratch. I've got a sneaky suspicion that some of the bigger YouTubers use this tool of using stock images or hiring an artist, and I can definitely see why. But I made a mistake with this next tool. And although it seems like a small mistake, these things add up over time. Let me explain what I mean. I don't know about you, but video editing can get frustrating. You're on tight deadlines, trying to get the impossible task done to the best standard possible. That's why it's so important to have the best tools available. Because if you have anything less than the best, it compounds your problems and makes everything harder long term. And this is exactly why I do free videos showing you guys the best tools for video editors within my free community editors club. But I made a mistake with this. The other week I actually did a breakdown video in the community of a few tools and I mentioned I've been using remove.bg to quickly remove images from backgrounds for years. That was until they introduced a maximum image size so you're limited at a tiny 500 pixel image unless you pay for it. 500 pixels is simply too low quality. And there's a few background removers now. They're all free, they all do the same job with no login required. So with this in mind, I've actually tested remove.bg, the one I've used for years, erase.bg, another tool I've used in the past, and finally Veed's image background remover. And on their speed, quality, and general ease of use, Veed's tool came out on top in every single category. But this next next tool genuinely blew me away when I first saw it, and it's crazy how far AI has come in such a short amount of time. By now, we're all getting used to AI image generation. There seems to be a handful of people who've mastered the art of prompts and can generate almost anything they think of, but for the vast majority of people, me included, I might get lucky and sometimes generate the exact image I want, but as a perfectionist myself, there's always something wrong with it and it's super tricky to actually get what I'm looking for. Draggan is a new open source AI tool that allows you to manipulate and adjust images just by dragging the image. And even though it's in its very early stages of development, it's still crazy to see that this is possible. Next up, we've got a tool that solved a big problem for me just the other week after I ran into an issue that you won't believe unless I show you the proof. I was recently working with a high-level entrepreneur on his personal brand. He sent across some footage he'd recorded with WeTransfer and I'm skimming through it and something is very wrong. Believe it or not, he'd actually left his TV on for the full recording. And this is a high performance guy, so I asked him, why is there a TV noise in the background? And he said he'd just completely tuned it out because it had been on all day. I actually ran the audio through Veed's background noise remover. If I'm honest, I didn't expect it to work because the TV was very loud, but it actually fixed the audio 100%. My standards were high because I needed this video to be good. And after using this tool, you couldn't even tell there was ever a TV on. All of the background noise was removed. Now, moving on to this next tool, I guarantee it will save you hours and hours and hours if you implement it. It has done for me and it's actually quite annoying looking back and seeing just how many hours I've wasted by not using the correct tools. Within my program Editors Academy I do live community calls and I remember jumping off one of these calls where we were talking about finding clients or something like that and I realized the call had been above an hour long and I post the recordings into the community afterwards. I obviously couldn't be bothered watching the entire recording all the way through but I knew there were likely lots of pauses, repeated words and times when I had to repeat myself.
Um, the solution to this I found was using Veed's magic cut tool, which removes things like filler words, multiple takes, and silence from your videos. Recently, I've noticed top YouTubers transitioning from just editing to more editing and animation. With this in mind, what if I told you there was a tool to generate animations from text? And it's been right in front of you this whole time. This secret tool actually allows us to create After Effects scripts of animations just using text prompts. You can chat with it and work on it until the animation is exactly how you want it. Then simply add the final version into After Effects and you've automatically created an animation from scratch. What tool is this? I hear you ask, it's ChatGPT. But next up, we've got something that's plugged a big gap in my knowledge recently and you might have noticed it in this video so far, but hopefully you haven't. Color grading is something I've never really had to do. I've always edited talking head finance videos as that's my area of interest. So I've always used LUTs and presets. This has left me with a big gap in my knowledge with regards to making footage look cinematic and well color graded. Luckily, Color Lab is here to solve this problem. Color Lab takes your flat and boring footage and transforms it into colors as beautiful as your favorite Hollywood movie while still giving you full control over the finished product. It's a simple plugin for Premiere Pro, Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve and this entire video you've watched has been color graded by this tool. But the next AI tool is a lifesaver for creating and editing videos that actually connect with your audience and fixing a problem that we have all stumbled into at some point. As I just said, I've been doing weekly live calls with Editors Academy students and I post the recordings into the community afterwards. And although it's a live call to provide value and not really to be too professional, so it doesn't really matter, I can't help but notice that when I'm thinking, I end up looking everywhere but the camera. And I'm sure we've all experienced this issue in some way or another, so hear me out. With V AI eye tracking feature, it actually takes this footage and corrects your eye contact. So you're always looking into the camera. It manages to somehow do this in a non-menacing way. And I found this tool super useful for discreetly correcting my eye contact in some of my videos, where it could look unprofessional or disingenuous if I'm looking away. And Veed has very kindly chosen to sponsor this video, and it was honestly crazy when I received their email because I use their tool all the time to make my workflow quicker and solve problems I encounter whilst video editing. So feel free to check out Veed, it's the top link in the description. Thank you for watching.